Wayne Dimmick has been involved in harness racing for over four decades as a breeder, an owner and a trainer while also running a very successful business. I caught up with Wayne after Mr Armstrong went around in the first event of Club and Angle tonight. Well, Wayne, I said in the introduction, over 40 years involvement in harness racing and patience is a word that we could use next to your name because last December, after all those years, success and now a Group 2 trainer. Yeah, it was very rewarding. Also, the fact that I bred the, the filly and, um, yeah, we had a lot of fun with her. Yeah. Merrywood Lynn's the horse in question. Uh, Wayne, the fact that most of your horses are called Merrywood, how did that come about? It's only because I grew up in Maryland and my wife grew up in Villawood. That's all it is. Yeah. So just the combination of the two words and you've had all that success with the Merrywoods? And Noel Simpson had Caramia, so <laughs> Merrywood. Wayne, what was your feelings on that particular night? The win was well received by everyone in the industry. Yeah, it was a great night. It was a great night. I wish I could do it again. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I will. Well, no doubt you will at one stage. A horse that would no doubt bring a lot of smiles to your face, Merrywood Prince. Yeah, he's my favourite. He was a champion to me. Um, yeah, it was great. What was his biggest win, Wayne? He won the uh, um, Ilsley Memorial. He also run um, some mighty races in other races and he also won the Sukiola Championship. He won it quite a few at Harold Park. Another horse going around, Merrywood Duke. He was another what, nice horse for you? Yeah, Duke, I bred him. Um, Lord Merrywood was probably the better one, um, but he broke down at three. I actually took him to Melbourne and ran fourth in the heat of the derby. Uh, was first reserve and didn't get a run, but he was a ni very nice horse. Um, yeah, I wish I could breed another one like him. Wayne, you're involved in harness racing. How did that come about? Uh, through my family. My father had them, my grandfather, both grandfathers, and my uncles. Um, yeah, we all had them. Your father, Paul, also spent a lot of time on committees. He, he certainly put a lot back into the industry. Yeah, Dad was great for Fairfield. Um, he retired at 55, uh, and he died at 80, but in that period, he was there every Wednesday for Fairfield, taking noms for the trials, pulled out the running rail. He's done a lot for Fairfield. It was yeah. a yeah, great time. Yeah, the Fairfield track seemed to attract a lot of people who were willing to roll up the sleeves and do a lot of that hard work. Yeah, he done it all voluntary too. So he never ever got anything out of it. And yeah, it was sad that they closed Fairfield, but yeah, as time goes on, that's what happens. Outside of the family, Wayne, any other influences on your career? Uh, no, I had a young fella called uh, Joe Connolly come into my camp um, through, he was trained by a son in, in cricket actually, and he, he, he loved animals and he found out I had horses and he come to Harold Park with me and next thing you know he was driving them and yeah, he's, 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 he's gone on to be a very successful trainer. Very successful. Yes, in an interview with Joe, he did credit you as the man who introduced him to harness racing. He's yeah. going to be ever thankful for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, he loves it. And it's like a... I've never been on drugs, but it must be like a drug because you just keep going back to it and you just want your next winner. Yeah. And of course, he's also chalked out a very good career for himself, Detective for Senior Constable. Yeah, he's a good cop, apparently. <laughs> It's always good to know him that way. He's a good, good <laughs> cop, apparently. <laughs> I, I, I've been on the right side of the law, so I don't know. Oh. Now, Wayne, as, as I mentioned, apart from all your involvement in harness racing, which must take up a lot of your time, you also run a very successful business. Yeah, me and my son, um, we go all of those over Sydney, fixing sliding doors and windows, um, yeah, just repairing and also installing them. Yeah. And also with the doors, no doubt... Um, it certainly applies to your business when one door shuts and another one opens. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the name of the game. Yeah, you just got to keep turning over your horses to to get a good one. Um, it's very hard to get a I'm an angle park horse, as everyone knows, um, and I don't breed to the the dearer size. So, do you enjoy that part of the industry? Wayne sitting down there trying to breed the next wonderful horse in your stable. Yeah, I did, but as I'm getting older, things are getting harder. Um, I have got a few, four more yearlings coming through, and I, I've sold all my mares, so hopefully they breed on for the other new owners, because um, our stud at Peak Hill, not my stud, but Mary, uh, Rosewood stud, 
um, has closed its doors and I had my horses there for a good part of 25, 30 years and had a great relationship with Graham and Lynn Hander. Wayne, apart from being involved in harness racing, running a successful business, you're also a pretty good judge of football. Yes, we go for the Blues, of course. <laughs> <laughs> good win, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Always been great to catch up with you and hopefully more group success will come your way. Yeah, thank you.